Hello dear viewers. Today I will tell you about the life and leadership of Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler 1889 to 1945 was born on the 20th of April 1889 in a border town in Upper Austria. Hitler wanted to work in the field of visual arts and had intense arguments with his father who wanted him to become a Habsburg civil servant. After living in Vienna between February 1908 and May 1913, Hitler moved to Munich. While Hitler spent time here, earning a living by making watercolor paintings and drawings, World War I gave his life a new direction and Hitler joined the army. He was wounded twice during the war in 1916 and 1918 and won several medals. In 1919, he joined the information department of the Bavarian Military Administration. This gathered intelligence on civilian political parties and provided anti-communist political training for the troops. In August 1919, Hitler made his first hateful anti-Semitic speeches as an educator. A month later, he expressed his anti-Semitic racist ideology. In writing for the first time, advocating the expulsion of Jews from Germany, in October 1919, Hitler joined what would become the Nazi Party. It was based on anti-Semitism, expansionist nationalism, and hostility to immigrants. By 1921, he became the absolute forer of the Nazi Party. The number of members of the Nazi Party rose to 55,000 in two years, refusing political participation in the elections of the Weimar Republic. Hitler and the leaders of the Nazi Party attempted to overthrow the government of Bavaria, a province of the Weimar Republic. On the 9th of November 1923, the Beer Hall Putsch took place. After the Putsch failed, Hitler and other ring leaders were tried for treason in a Munich court. Although Hitler was found guilty, he received a light sentence and was released after only one year in prison. During his time in prison, he began writing his autobiography Mein Kampf, published in 1926. After his release from prison, Hitler reorganized and reassembled the Nazi party. In the 1928 parliamentary elections, the Nazis suffered a major disappointment, receiving 2.6% of the votes. In the spring of 1932, Hitler and the Nazis entered the presidential elections and became the largest political party in Germany with 37.3% of the vote in the 1932 elections. After his release from prison, Hitler reorganized and reassembled the Nazi party. In the 1928 parliamentary elections, the Nazis suffered a major disappointment, receiving 2.6% of the vote. In the spring of 1932, Hitler and the Nazis entered the presidential elections and became the largest political party in Germany with 37.3% of the vote in the 1932 elections. In the 1930 parliamentary elections, the Nazis' share of the vote fell to 33.1%. This led to a political and financial crisis within the Nazi party. Hitler was rescued by former Chancellor Franz von Papen. In early January 1933, von Papen reached an agreement with Hitler and the German nationalists. He persuaded President Paul von Hindenburg to appoint Hitler as Chancellor. After his appointment as Chancellor, Adolf Hitler began to lay the foundations of the Nazi state. Paul von Hindenburg, President of Germany, died in August 1934. Hitler had won the support of the army. He abolished the office of president and declared himself forer of the German people. All military personnel and officers swore loyalty to Hitler. As their leader, Hitler also continued as Reich Chancellor. In our next video, we will give information about Hitler's power. Thank you for watching us.